I came across this article from Axios, and I don't think most of us want to hear this, but this is what's going on. Life is about to get much more expensive for millions of families. Several pandemic era safety net programs will be coming to an end at roughly the same time this fall, creating a major economic squeeze for millions of families. Why it matters. Scores of Americans will soon be facing bigger bills for student loan payments, child care, health care and food, deepening the impact of years of inflation. So all of us will be feeling this um, money, this money issue. The real issue here is that these policies have definitely been a lifeline for families in the pandemic in the recovery. Even though they were always intended to be, to be temporary, there is a significant risk of disruption as they roll off. Student loan payments will come due again in October for the first time in more than three years. Pandemic era funding for child care will expire almost simultaneously. One estimate, one estimate projects that more than 3 million children will lose access to care and 70,000 child care programs will close. This will significantly impact families, particularly mothers who are going to be the ones struggling to find child care. Another survey found that around 4 in 10 child care providers expect to raise tuition when the grant programs end. This is just going to really be a cluster. Work requirements for food stamps will also come back into effect this fall. That will likely cause at least half a million people to lose their food stamp assistance. And the recent debt ceiling agreement, which expanded work requirements to more beneficiaries, puts 750,000 people at risk, according to an estimate by the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities. And states will continue to trim their Medicaid roles, removing people who enrolled during the pandemic but are no longer eligible. Most states began the, this process this summer. More than 2 million people have already been disenrolled. All right, and 75% and of those people probably have incomes low enough that they should qu still qualify but were removed because paperwork wasn't in order. What they're saying, that we have that we have all of these really big forms of assistance shutting down at the same time raises a lot of concerns that some families will be affected on multiple dimensions. It's all these costs that are coming at the same time. I am sure most of us knew that this would be temporary, but this is definitely going to harm people. This is going to impact so many women's lives, children's lives. Um, it's going to definitely help the, the birth rate continue to decline because people are barely able to support the children that are here and their own lives um, without adding more kids to this. This, this is just crazy, but y'all don't chime in.